Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to take a look at something called link building. So now we're, we do have an issue of maintainability uh, in our application in the urls.py file. What is this issue? Now the URL mapping in this, in this file that I've opened for the detail view is highly coupled with the URL and the template. If we change the URL mapping in this file, in the urls.py file, for the detail view function, we need to change all the templates in which this URL has been referenced. For now, we have one page, home.html. Uh, but imagine if we had like 10, 20, 50 templates, then we would need to change all the anchor elements links in all those templates. What do I mean by that? Let's say in the future, I come and I say, okay, this meetings, uh, this I don't really like it. I'm just going to add another thing here. I'm going to say cool. Now you can see that we have fundamentally changed the structure of a URL. Now, in this case, we just have one uh, template in which we could just say cool. But in case you have like 10 templates, 20 templates, you need to change all this hard-coded stuff all by yourself. Now, we had this issue in our Flask application as well. And for that, we used the URL for method. In this one, we are just going to use the URL uh, template tag for this one. So instead of hard-coding all the stuff, uh, what I'm going to do is just go back. Uh, I'm just going to do something called, um, uh, we are going to use a template uh, tag called URL. Now, this is going to look up a specific URL mapping based on its view function's name. We use a pair of curly braces and person signs to call it, and we pass the name of that specific, the name of that specific URL mapping. After that, we can add any arguments to pass to the view function. Now, how does, uh, how does this actually work? Now, the way that this actually works is, now, within this path, I'm going to pass in a keyword argument, and I'm going to call it name. Now, within this name, I'm going to say, now, this is a URL mapping, right? This path method is a URL mapping. I am trying to provide a name for this URL mapping. So, whenever I try to access this URL mapping, I, I'm not like really worried what is the name of the URL or which view function it refers to. I'm just going to be concerned with the name of this mapping. So that is actually what I'm trying to do here. The best practice is to provide the name of the mapping uh, the same as the name of the view function that they refer to. So I'm just going to provide detail in here. This is the name of the mapping. What is the benefit? The benefit is that this hard-coded piece of code or piece of template variable is going to change to something more elegant and more professional. What is it going to change to? Let's take a look at it. So in here, the href, instead of being that hard-coded URL, it is going to access the name of that URL mapping. What is the name of the URL mapping? First, you need to write URL. That is the template tag. What is the name of the mapping? It is detail. And then, what do you want to grab from that URL mapping? You just want to grab the meeting.id. Very simple. That's it. This is the only thing that we needed to do. I'm going to, I'm going to explain this one more time. Now, um, well, uh, let, me just, uh, let me just think about it. So we, we did provide this in here. And now I'm, I'm going to explain this one more time and then we are going to jump into the browser. So what we did was we grabbed this URL mapping. We provided it with a name. Why? Just to avoid hard coding the URLs inside our anchor elements. And then we use the URL template tag to reference that map, which is the detail through its name, right? So this detail is not the name of the view function, it's the name of the map. That's the, that I've highlighted. And what do we want to extract from it? We just want to extract the meeting ID. Let's save that. Let's save, uh, let's save this URL as well. Everything looks cool, right? Let me refresh. And we do get everything in there. And uh, 
Oh, I, I, I wanted to show you something. So to be able to show you that, I'm just going to uh, cut that out. Uh, let's go to server. We are going to get a no reverse match. Whenever you get this no reverse match, what this actually means is that we don't have, it, it says here, we don't have any valid view function for this URL. For this, uh, for this URL that we are trying to access, we don't have any valid view function. That's why we have this reverse, no reverse match. All right. So whenever you get this, it means that uh, uh, we didn't give any URL mapping. To be more technical, we didn't provide any URL mapping. And you need to provide a URL mapping through the name. And when you save that, let's come in here, let's refresh the page. There we go. Everything works correctly. Now, uh, the second, uh, this lecture had two parts. This is the second part that I'm about to begin. The second part is an exercise for you. And the second part is, I'm going to explain the exercise for you first. The, the exercise is that I'm trying to add a home link to this details, to this details page. So this page uh, shows or displays the details for, an, for a meeting. Uh, you might remember from the uh, project introduction that we had a button or a link that says home, that said home. And when you clicked on it, it uh, redirected us back to the home page. So what your exercise is that provide that link within the detail page, remember, within the detail page, and provide a, a dynamic URL mapping for it through the URL tag as well. So go ahead, pause the video, and after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. All right, how was it? I'm sure you did great. So first off, um, we, are, we need to open up the detail page. When I open up the detail page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say I'm going to add an anchor element. This anchor element is going to have a URL uh, template tag. So I'm going to say URL. Uh, what is going to be the name of this view? So what is the view? The view is the welcome view, right? Because it is the directory. Whenever uh, It is the home directory. It is the root URL. So whenever we are in the meetings, where is it that we want to go to? We want to go to the home, right? We want to go to this page. When we want to go to that page, what is the URL responsible for it? This is the URL responsible for it. So in here, we need to provide a name. I'm just going to say name, uh, welcome. Just saying welcome. So uh, we could just say, we could just provide a slash, but we are trying to keep our code professional, right? So in here, what is the name of the view? The name of the view is welcome. And basically that's it. What is the content of this anchor element? It is going to say home. Let's save that. Let's click on this. There we go. Here is our link. If I go to inspect, if I open this up, if I go here, you can see that. Let's zoom in. What is the href? The href is a simple slash. And the tooltip says HTTP colon double forward slash 127.0.1 colon 8000 slash. And if I click on it, we are redirected to the home page. And that is going to work for all the meetings. So for this one, we have a home. For this one, we have a home. For this one, we also have a home. So what I did was to create to complete another aspect of the application as a challenge for you so you are interactive when you're working with this course. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.